In 16th century Japan, Zeno Rikyu was the great tea master who served two consecutive powerful warlords in the turbulent feudal era. In contrast to the ostentatious taste of military rulers and the opulence and perfection of Chinese imported goods, the tea gardens that Rikyu conceived and created were simple, understated places of reflection, influenced by the teachings of Zen Buddhism and the nature focus and cleansing rituals of the Shinto faith. Rikyu favoured plain, ordinary and unpretentious environments, instructing that a tea garden must avoid artifice and never include rare or unusual plants that demand attention. The garden should, he instructed, resemble a little used mountain path. The uneven stepping stone path or Tobi Ishii encourages concentration with each step forward, drawing the mind away from the busy world outside to focus on the forthcoming tea ceremony. On his way to a gathering at a tea house and seeing scattered leaves on the stepping stones after a storm, Rikyu commented on how engaging the scene was, creating precisely the feeling of a mountain forest, but adding that the host, being unaccomplished, would probably sweep up the leaves. This illustrates the concept of Wabi, a set of values centered on the acceptance of transition and imperfection. And as Rikyu had anticipated, during an interval, the host did indeed rake away the fallen leaves. The nobidan, meaning stone carpet, is a more formal path. This demands less attention than stepping stones, allowing the visitor to take in the wider vista. The path brings us to the shukubai, a wash basin for ritual cleansing of hands and rinsing of the mouth before the guest attends the tea ceremony. The bamboo pipe reflects the value Rikyu found in the simplicity of bamboo water pipes serving woodcutters' cottages in the mountains. These pipes brought fresh water from mountain streams to old stone hand mills or pails, serving as wash basins. The motion of crouching down to the tea garden basin represented an act of humility. Even the placement of stones which covered the drain in front of the basin had to avoid artifice. The stones Riku reportedly said should be dropped from a container with closed eyes. Then, after some slight rearrangement with a cane, they should be left as they are. Behind the basin stands an Oribe stone lantern, its pillar buried in the ground. It was designed specifically for use in water basin arrangements. Firuta Oribe succeeded Riku as tea master and who was once his favoured pupil. The Oribe contrasts with the larger, more ornate lantern at the entrance to the tea garden, which is a Kasuga lantern. The name comes from the Kasuga Grand Shrine, an ancient Shinto shrine established in the 8th century. Both lanterns would have had an oil lamp placed inside to light the way after dark, a very necessary source of illumination because one of the standard times for a tea gathering, of which there are seven, is in the pitch black of 4 a.m. Even this beautifully simple garden would be considered generously planted by some tea garden standards. One 16th century design was reported to comprise of nothing but one single tree and mossy ground. Where rocks were used, they were to be placed discreetly and should not have any distracting features. On one occasion, a tea master hosting a gathering was complimented on the layout of the rocks in his garden. Once his guests had departed, the tea master immediately went outside to rearrange the rocks. Even in the planting of trees, conspicuousness is to be rejected. However, at the edge of Kew's tea garden, there is one particular tree that may capture visitors' attention, particularly when the wind blows and it seems to beckon you over. This is a Hinoki cypress, 
planted by their Imperial Highnesses Prince Akihito and Princess Michiko in 1976, who subsequently reigned as Emperor and Empress of Japan from 1989 until 2019. Hinoki trees are sacred to the Shinto faith and the lemon-scented fragrant wood is used in the building of palaces, temples, shrines and structures, including the ornately carved gateway in the Harmony Garden at Kew, which we examine in more detail in our next video about the Japanese landscape. There is a zigzag path running through the centre of the tea garden, illustrated here on the Kew Gardens map. Its outline resembles the wooden planks or stone sections of bridges that were laid out in a zigzag pattern, first appearing in the Heian period. According to legend, this pattern kept evil spirits away, since the spirits could not make the turns required to continue on the path. Consequently, zigzag bridges and paths were constructed on temple grounds. Traditionally, the term Yatsuhashi is used which means eight bridges, 